Hello and welcome back everyone to another Sidemen React video. This is the real richest people in the world. What does that mean exactly? Not 100% sure. I, I guess like because they actually have the money and it's not like an investment maybe? I don't know. So we're just going to get into it, okay? Now you may think that we're all out here making bread, but we are small fish in a <laughs> gigantic pond. It's time to see who the real richest people in the world oh, are. Okay. Okay. Are we excited to, to see who who is not on Forbes? That there There okay. is lots of people that are not on the rich list who are the richest in the world. I don't think the Bezos and the Musks are actually the richest people. Well, I think this video is going to prove you right. How you never know. Okay. All about we hidden assets. With the Forbes list of mm. the richest people on earth, which includes entrepreneurs like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. Bezos. 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 Limited to people who report He's wild now, you know. Have you seen Tom's life? He's got the trend. Richest people are royalty. We never pay income taxes and stack unbelievable fortunes. Today, we're looking at the real richest people in the world. Hosni Mubarak ruled Egypt. Egypt for almost ah. 30 years as the president and military leader. He was okay. renowned for his corruption and abuses of power, wow. frequently mm. serving lucrative government contracts to himself and his family. In mm. fact, Egyptian citizens were so displeased with him that they began extensive protests in recently? January 2011. Oh, 2011. Oh, 2011. Okay. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, me too. But before his political surrender and eventual death, Mubarak was one of the richest people on earth. Jeez. His net worth was a staggering $70 billion. Oh, my God. Seventy billion. Yeah, you know, that's what happened for like trillions of people today. I, was, I, was I mean, this is like... this is like the first one. Okay, all right. It only goes up from here. Yeah. You got a face like a melted candle. Look at it. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, Harry. <laughs> oh dear. Dollars from the Egyptian break. people and foreign governments, and stashed it in anonymous <laughs> Swiss bank accounts. Also, Harry, seventy billion. Seventy billion. Yeah, is seventy thousand million. So like you think like Ooh, having a million yeah, you dollars it, is a yeah. lot. Imagine yeah. having seventy thousand times that amount of money. Yeah, that is kind of mad when you say that. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm <laughs> saying. I'm like billions Harry. of dollars worth of expensive property in the United Kingdom. Jeez. These mansions oh, were registered I'm under different one names, one, but they could all be traced back to the Egyptian Slough. despot. <laughs> to avoid scrutiny, much of Mubarak's riches were passed on to his wife, Suzanne Mubarak. But in 2014, their assets were frozen, and a Cairo court convicted him and his sons nice. of embezzling more than $17 million from the state. Jeez. The funds were in the <laughs> presidential palace, but they were diverted to upgrade Mubarak's real estate abroad. Egypt's current president, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, still rules with an iron fist, but he has a much smaller fortune. His estimated net worth is only $1 million, Ow, so right. a tiny oh, fraction we'll of his predecessor. Yeah. <laughs> Syria has been ruled by oh, one man for most of the 21st century. Bashar al-Assad assumed the presidency in 2000 and has governed ever since. Despite Syria experiencing one of the most severe civil wars in modern history, al-Assad has allegedly enriched himself with a fortune of $122 oh, billion. Humanitarian conditions in the country continue to deteriorate, but al-Assad is still on top. Al-Assad came from a prominent Syrian political family. His father rose through the ranks and eventually served as Syrian president in the 1970s. Originally, Al Assad wanted like to work as a doctor. Thin he completed his studies and was set to be a wealthy <laughs> practitioner. But after the death of his <laughs> older brother, he became the heir apparent for the presidency. He gained the support of the military right. and took charge of the Middle Eastern country. I would like to learn about this kind of stuff. It's interesting. Yeah. It, it, it's unclear it exactly kind of where Al Assad got his money. It's possible that he inherited much of it as part of his political dynasty. But it's also possible that he gained his wealth through corruption and bribery. Mm. His real estate portfolio alone is worth many millions of dollars. One Really? Spanish mansion is worth sixty-seven Jesus million dollars. Oh my God! In France cost him just over one hundred million dollars. <laughs> As these castle. assets oh appreciate in value, this Syrian dictator's net worth will continue to grow. Jeez, all right. Ooh, okay. Despite ruling the one of the poorest countries <laughs> on Earth, <laughs> dear leader Kim Jong Un's net worth is estimated between <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Four, <laughs> five, five to fifty. Yeah, it yeah. just depends what he says on the day, innit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the newspapers say fifty billion. The reality oh. is. Uh, Five and fifty kind of million mad. dollars. That's because this dictator has Gee, full access go, to man. his what, entire what country's character. assets, in addition to black market smuggling and cryptocurrency. 
<laughs> Officially, North Korea's GDP was $18 billion in 2019. Because Un rules with total authority, he can wow. use 100% of this money for his own personal gain. I was going to say, doesn't he yeah. kind of man decide how much he has? Appetites. Yeah. So it's perhaps no surprise yeah. that he has a fully equipped party island where he likes party to island. entertain oh visitors. The Jeez. North Korean dictator has tricked the coastal compound out <laughs> with a 200-foot pull boat, a $7 million yacht, <laughs> water slides, theme park rides, and a full <laughs> football It's a bit pitch. funny, isn't it? It's the it's video funny. in the <laughs> <NBA laughs> Dennis Rodman yeah. was entertained back in 2013 when he was invited to the totalitarian state. International sanctions prevent North oh, Korea from funny. officially trading with most other countries on Earth. As a result, the Hermit Kingdom has turned to lucrative black market dealings like selling methamphetamine, counterfeit money, and weapons. According to International <laughs> Business Times, he has at least 17 luxury palaces around the country, in addition to 100 I luxury what cars, I what it's like private being jet, in for a day. Like, is he just he's lost in the sauce? Like, does he actually hundred percent, bro. Yeah. Yeah. How, how can yeah. he not be? Um, yeah. I guess so. so, yeah. You see people who have, like, yes men surrounding them that mm. like, lose their heads. And, like, mm. they yeah. have access to, like, a few million. Imagine yeah. having access to a whole country of billions. <laughs> and, everyone's, and, you, and everyone's saying you're like, yeah. The, the, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. And you can make <clears throat> laws. You can make it illegal for people to talk shit about yeah. you. It yeah. is. Yeah. It is crazy. Yeah. Head, yeah. head losses bonkers. to the highest degree. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Volkia is another controversial world leader who made a reputation for himself as a materialistic royal with a Material taste for girl. the final things. <laughs> 75 year old Sultan of Brunei has ruled since 1967. Brunei's economy is almost entirely based on crude oil exports. He also, he's the guy who pays 20K for a haircut. Do you remember that was in one of the Oh videos? yeah. yeah oh. Like, every haircut is he gets is 20k. Fair dues, man. Barber's living. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting smoked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to do a hide and seek one of these things. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 Nothing no, really dangerous. No, nah. not really. It, it, oh. it depends. If you go to like certain parts of the sea and like it's stormy, they're dangerous. I don't know, I've always wanted to go on one. They look so sick. <laughs> yeah, let's not do it. Just go, for, just go on one yourself, you know. Yeah. Okay. I'll right. travel the boys I'll, down I'll, with Harry, you. Harry, I'll, I'll come. I'll come. Mess with okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go on a little expedition to a little We're going to hike. Petroleum accounted for more than 90% of the country's GDP. Conservative estimates place Bolkia's net worth around $20 billion. Okay. Though many people guess it's, the figure is much higher. Right, right. He has the largest car collection <laughs> on Earth, with over 7,000 cars, which he has never even driven. <laughs> The total value of this collection oh is God. well in excess of five <laughs> million dollars. The Sultan's uh, collection of Ferrari F40s, oh McLaren F1s, God. and Rolls Royce is particularly notable due to the rarity and value of the vehicles. Jeez. I'm sorry. Look at that. Look at that yard. The guy's taking the piss, man. He's taking <laughs> the piss. How many people do you think like... live there? Not working. Like he's probably him and his family. It's probably like twelve people and like two hundred staff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Notoriously vain monarch is also renowned for his expensive haircuts. Yeah. 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 Flown out from England for a total cost of twenty from England. You get the guy from England. Right? Single <laughs> haircut. Maybe a Turkish barber. He's reported that Bolkia <laughs> flies out of his favourite barber from London, where he works at the Dorchester Hotel in Mayfair. He mm. goes regularly, sometimes every three or four weeks. Mm -hmm. The Sultan flies in first regular. class at a cost of about twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> Everything is paid for, Jeez. hotel, luxury, is food. It's a case of just keep Lucky, signing, he's, he's in the jackpot there. Oh, yeah, of give... course. Oh, computer, oh, oh, computer. In an envelope with thousands of dollars, the Times said. Many people are critical of the Sultan for his lavish lifestyle and controversial politics, including making homosexuality a capital punishment. Ah, oh, you can't be doing that, Sultan. You can't be doing that. Vladimir Putin has been a Russian head of state news. since 2000. Have you seen? I know, I know. This is what the other stuff is in the news right now. But have you? Do you see when like his palace got like revealed by that guy? Yeah, it's in uh, Europe somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, on the Black Sea. Like, it looks sick. Like, yeah. But. I have no idea what you're talking about. Than eight, and is undeniably one of the most powerful people in the world. He got his start as an intelligence officer in the KGB and built a web of important allies in the Russian government. Since then, he has become synonymous with Russian politics, serving as the president since 2012. While some consider him to be despotic, he continues to have high approval ratings among Russian citizens. 
because I know, of the shadowy I know he's nature not of Russian, the, the best man, man, right? Some and I know he's, believe not, that he's, he's a bit the like, wealthiest he's man on the planet. But he's a bit cool. He's like, an alpha male. He, he fights a bit bears. Cool. He hits Jim. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> he, he's an ex KGB. Yeah, like, but, <laughs> like, I don't agree with that. Compared to other politicians, he is kind of gangster. Worth in excess of $200 billion. Oh my god. In 2011, a Russian version of WikiLeaks posted a number of photos of Putin's secret mansion in the forest by the Black Sea. Yeah. Many estimate the property that. to be worth yeah. Sorry, the, the dogs in the background are cracking me up. I'm making sorry. It one of the most expensive houses in the world. On top of his billion he dollar mansion, neighbors. he reportedly has access to 20 I different palaces and houses <laughs> across the, the world. Neighbor. However, you, you, you must enter and exit them secretly <laughs> should the public discover his massive fortune. Putin clearly has a penchant for the finer things. One of those things appears to be a unique super yacht with a rather opaque existence. Okay. Although details surrounding Graceful's genesis remain sketchy, we do know some facts about the vessel. Officially launched in 2013, Graceful displaces 2,500 tons and so a steel hull with an it, aluminum superstructure, features a bulbous bow, yeah, and yeah, is powered by a pair of 3,100 horsepower diesel engines. Mm. Supposedly, it can sleep 14 guests in six rooms, including wow. one large owner's suite, two VIP staterooms, and another three guest cabins. Okay. Putin's most expensive yacht <laughs> is worth <laughs> $1.5 billion. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, England has an official net worth Big of up. around $500 million. Dollars. Yeah. Most of this comes in the form of rent on the royal family's massive real estate portfolio. But some people believe that Elizabeth II and the rest of the royal family have intentionally downplayed their assets. Hmm. For instance, Buckingham Palace alone is valued in excess of $5 billion. More well, than 10 times the Queen's official... Shut up, dog! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> wow, you're talking to Lizzie like that. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! According to sources, she earned $97.2 million in income in 2020. Okay. But the royal real estate portfolio is valued at $10 billion. And that doesn't count other assets like fine art and cars. The royal collection is the royal family's art collection, Ooh, containing okay. over 7,000 paintings, 40,000 watercolors and drawings, and 150,000 old master prints, oh my God. Well numerous artifacts, oh rare books, and the crown jewels, which are kept in the Tower of London. They should have cribs tall like this these fucking artifacts cribs are just <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what they have in their fridge. I'm, I'm trying yeah. to see, uh, I'm trying to see outfit check on Queen Lizzie. <laughs> 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 All right, the crepes, 5G. <laughs> the crown jewels, 20 billion. <laughs> Priceless. Oh, this Saudi Arabia is uh, the 18th highest Saudi GDP Arabia, on it? Earth, pulling in more yeah. than $780 billion Jesus in 2019 Christ. alone. Are you like freaking other wealthy kidding? nations, the vast majority uh, of this money is no, funneled into oh the God. pockets of the Saudi royal family. Jeez. One man in particular Eight benefits billion. from this unjust economy, Saudi Crown oh Prince Mohammed God. bin Salman. The Middle Eastern ruler only has an official net worth of $20 billion. Okay. But because he doesn't need to officially report his income, many people believe his fortune may approach $1 trillion. Oh. The Saudi no public way. That was a bit of a bot. Look, look at them. They're like the best buddy. <laughs> 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 Which Bin Salman is a majority <laughs> stakeholder is worth more than four hundred and fifty billion dollars. When factoring Jeez. in other extravagances like mansions, cars, jets, yachts, and foreign currencies, Bin Salman may secretly be the richest person on earth. Mad. Fair man. No, after dues. KSI sells Prime, am I right? Hey. <laughs> come on, come on. Now, I'm trying to become a ruler of a country or something. <laughs> yeah, what can I do? <laughs> get a little, get a, it's a little bit worrying, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> get like a little like, Cayman Island or something. You can, you can rule your own little island. We'll but... make si Sidemen Land. <laughs> that was quite interesting. Though. I enjoyed that voice. Yeah. Thank you for sure. Yeah, that was a. I don't know if I like that Sidemen Land. I mean, Sidemen Island, I think, sounds better, Vic. I'm not going to lie. Because Sidemen Land, it just it doesn't roll off the tongue is Simon Island. Ooh. <laughs> it's tropical island in the sea or what is it? or not in the sea but you know those like, like that that stupid you you know what like thing I'm going for the tropical islands da 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 the, the off of the Muppets Christmas Carol where the rats are singing like the like 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 that tune go to that like a <laughs> kind of thing. This is my island in the sun. I believe you've convinced them once again, Mr. Scrooge. Other than that, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure you go check out the boys. Links down in the description as always. And I will see all you beautiful, wonderful people in the next video. All right? <laughs> Bye. 
I come and go like a ride, ride round. They don't want the two be going nah, nah. 